I want to talk about the case of Vox Booker, the uh, the black uh, gentleman from uh, Indiana who was uh, during the Fourth of July uh, was assaulted by racists uh, who uh, wanted to lynch him, uh, who claimed he was on private property, and how the uh, so-called authorities were more geared to uh, chewing out Vox and not interested in actually serving uh, serving justice uh, and and uh, basically uh, carrying out a white nationalist white supremacist agenda um, I also want to talk about the uh, the, the uh, two uh, uh, I want to talk about the white people, white Americans, true patriots, who uh, who stepped in um, at the potential cost of their own lives at the hands of these criminals and stood up for what uh, this country is supposed to uh, stand for. Uh, this is horrific, uh, and uh, Vox should never have been put in a position like that. Vox should have uh, had justice carried out, which hasn't happened. Uh, the, uh, watch the interview with Vox on Democracy Now!, and this goes to show that systemic racism the crime which so many like Tucker Carlson and others deny happens and use white nationalist white supremacist language on TV spread this vile disease and this hate and and I the uh, true patriotic uh, patriotic allies like these two uh, men and a and a uh, and I believe it's a daughter of one of the uh, two men that uh, stepped in who screamed and got the attention of others uh, to come uh, to the aid uh, Vox talks about how uh, he's been involved in housing and and human rights in Indiana because he's uh, he, he, uh, I just find it atrocious uh, that he backed one of the political candidates who is directly supposed to be involved in in, uh, in in law and order and how this person has utterly failed because over a week this hap uh, over a week ago this happened and yet these five criminals are still running loose we've seen reports of an epidemic of of uh, black Americans being uh, who have been hung, and we have the so-called police and coroners and all those saying there were suicides. This is about as believable as Jeffrey Epstein committing suicide, uh, and all the reports surrounding it. That was clearly not suicide. That was a uh, that was a murder to keep those in power who had direct ties with him from getting outed. I uh, I salute those uh, white Americans who came to the defense 
of a fellow American and uh, and I condemn I condemn with hated vitriol against these criminals who uphold injustice inequity these cowards that do not belong these cowards who should be in jail and I'm not talking about the uh, five white men they should definitely be in jail because they are criminals they are murderous criminals but I'm talking about the politically elected person who's supposed to carry out actual justice and those so-called law enforcement that came who was supposed to carry out equal justice blind justice but they did not they were more willing to go after Vox the victim an American you know the, ironically they these uh, law uh, law officers went and arrested uh, people that were uh, uh, skinny dipping while they allowed five murderers potential murderers to walk away watch the interview on democracy now and tell me there is no systemic racism tell me that there is equality Tell black Americans that there's justice or indigenous Americans that there's justice or there's brown Americans that, there, that there's justice, that there's equality. Tell me that the, all the nice words in the, uh, in, in the uh, Constitution all these sentiments are being carried out with uh, with equity there isn't and Biden is a racist classist criminal he should be in jail Trump should be in jail most of Trump's family should be in jail. Trump's father should have been in jail. Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, Matt Gates, all of them. Those on uh, CNN, MSNBC, The Murdochs, they should be on jail, in jail. Tucker Carlson, who's uh, who has direct family uh, ties to the Campbell's fortune. That monstrous asshole. That criminal monstrous asshole. Sean Hannity, Laura Ingrams, most of uh, most, if not all, of Fox. Tucker Carlson, who founded, uh, co-founded the Daily Caller, where Saga and Jetty gets a platform on rising with Crystal Ball. That is propaganda. The fact that they put those two together, they put Crystal in there to legitimize Saga. Sad sack. Sad sack saga. That fucking asshole should be uh, uh shouldn't uh be allowed on on any platform. And certainly not talking with legitimacy on rising. And Crystal for allowing it. And for Crystal being silent while Saga spews his trash.
Saga was placed there to, uh, to give an impression of, of being moderate. Saga is nowhere near moderate. That if it's got daily in it, guess what? It's a right wing. Daily Beast. That's they're they're, uh, uh, they're schizophrenic. They go either way. It's that moderate position. All of them. I. Again, I thank uh, those white Americans who who saved the lives of Vox, and I am outraged that a fellow American who was assaulted and possibly could have been lynched without the intervention of these uh, uh, other Americans I, I I can only say that that it, it, force must be used a projection of force must be used to get justice for all Americans for non-Americans because life is life and skin color does not matter it only matters if you're a criminal and you value the stupidity the ignorance that you are somehow the master race <laughs>